Hey guys, welcome back. We're kicking it old school. No face cam for this one. We're going back to cam studio. Good news is we won't be limited by that 10 minute time limit, which is great. I can just be here flapping my gums for hours really, and um, it'll be wonderful. No, uh, anyways, today I'm gonna start off by showing you a little magic trick here that you can do with Inventor. Uh, so you can see I got this plate right here, and I have this almost identical plate right here. I made them slightly differently. This one I, I made the base and then I extruded the slot right there. In this one, I just did the base and slot together. Really no uh, discernible difference there. But there is a little trick that I used here and I'm gonna show it to you right here. So let's see, if I go to this extrusion and I go to edit the sketch, and this is what you would expect to happen. I'm gonna go right here to this three inches right here. I'm just gonna change that dimension. I'm gonna make it six. All right, and there we go. And we finished the sketch and our plate jumps and Everything looks different, right? Now here on this one, I'm gonna do basically the same thing where I'm gonna change, let's see, that's extrusion one. I'm gonna edit the sketch here. You can see, let's rotate it a bit. There's that same three inch dimension. I'm gonna click on it to change it. I'm gonna change it to uh, six inches right here. And all of a sudden, let's finish the sketch. The plate got bigger but everything l everything kind of stayed proportional right so the plate basically doubled in size but everything doubled in size whereas in this one just that one dimension changed and the plate looks completely different so how did we do this it's a, it's a good thing to know how to do right you can uh you know you can if let's say you want to make furniture right and you have uh, your you have your kindergarten stools and you have your middle school stools and you have your adult stools and you have three different sizes for three different size people you know and then and but you're gonna basically use the same stool for each one you're just going to scale it this would be a perfect time to use that um, and the way you do it is by using something called parametric equations so those sound complicated, but they're not too bad. So if you look at this picture of the plate right here, very similar plate, it's got this extra hole right here. Uh, and you can see that rather than having numbers for dimensions, it has D followed by a number, right? So this is D zero, that's the first dimension. This is D one right here, the second dimension. D two is the extrusion thickness right here. D3 is something called the plate taper angle, which is automatically set to zero degrees unless you change it, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so anyways, we're going to jump in. We're going to make something similar like this and kind of learn how to use the parametric equation. Now, the key to making this is realizing that this, each one of these is an equation and not a number. So you're going to enter in a number for the first one, and then from there on, you're not gonna enter in numbers, you're gonna enter in equations. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a new part right here, standard.ipt. We'll start ourselves a new sketch right here. I kinda am in the habit of straightening the top out, and we'll make a rectangle right here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and dimension this, and we'll put in our dimension, and you can see right here, it says edit dimension D0. So the first dimension starts with D0. And I know that I want this to be three inches right here. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna put in our second dimension right here. Now this one, I know I actually want it to be five, but I'm not gonna type in five. I'm gonna go right here to my worksheet and it's gonna tell me, okay, five to three ratio, overall plate width, to overall plate depth. So then it kind of gives me the parametric equation right here that I need to put in. So D zero times five thirds to get that five to three ratio. So I look and I say right here, okay, what is D zero? It's three inches. Okay, so now we have three, oops, three times five over three th or five thirds equals and then let's on the next line that equals five inches right the threes cancel out the five is left over one okay so there we go so i know it needs to be five inches but instead of typing in five inches i'm going to type in this actually let's just copy and paste it control c i hope that got it control c and then we'll check to make sure that the value equals five okay so here we go control v paste that in there, perfect. 
and we'll hit enter and then it shows up with this little f of x indicating that it's a parametric equation and the function that generates this output right here five okay perfect okay so now we'll finish the sketch and we'll go ahead and extrude it right here okay now this one if memory serves it's supposed to be d1 divided by 20 right there okay so d1 is now five so we have five divided by 20 equals and that is 0.25 again not going to type in 0.5 i'm going to type in d1 divided by 20. so right in here i'm going to do d1 divided by 20. and there we go you can see we have the plate thickness perfectly okay now this is probably a good time because we skip actually when we don't have to enter in d3 it's entered in for us which can lead to some confusion so let's go ahead and take a quick break here and we'll go and we will go to the manage tab and we'll click the parameters button again that's the manage tab right there uh oh now i did something let's get that back by cycling through with that okay and we'll click on parameters and then there you go, D0, D1, D2, D3. D3 is the plate taper angle. If you want to know where that comes from, it comes from right here when you click on the extrude button. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, let's just go ahead and edit our extrusion, edit the feature. If you click on the more and you did this to create the automoblox man uh, right here, if you set the taper angle to something other than zero, that would be D3. Uh, D3 as it is is automatically set to zero. Okay, so there we go. So we have D0 through D3 And we're gonna keep on going. Let's jump down here just to show you the mechanisms of the worksheet You're gonna put in a slot and the slot width location Now this is the first one where you have to write the equation yourself So it gets a little bit tougher what you're gonna do is it's four-fifths of the overall plate width So you're gonna do something like this. You're gonna do uh, four divided by five right for four fifths oh cool and it's a little equation for me times the overall plate width so if you look back up here the overall plate width is represented by dimension d1 so i'm just going to type in four fifths times d1 and then right here four fifths four divided by five times d1 was 5 times 5 and that equals of course 4 so there you go that's how you do it uh i think i'm pretty much going to end the video there you guys could hopefully have enough information to figure out how to fill in the worksheets with the uh with the equation and get your values to check and remember to kind of keep monitoring your dimensions as you go. Keep, a, keep an eye on the Manage Parameters tab as well to make sure that you're following along and you're not getting ahead of yourself. You're not getting too many dimensions in there. If you mess up, it kind of like sometimes it creates new dimensions or it create like you can get up to, you know, dimension 30 if you keep doing and deleting dimensions, right? So kind of keep an eye. Maybe use that back button for this one to make sure that you keep the parameters consistent. All right, that's it. That's enough for today. Good luck with the plate and thanks for watching.